Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we are working on page three of Let It Snow and I've got my papers laid out and uh, I want to pull in page two real quick. So page two, these are the, the products that I use. So for continuity, I'm going to share the same patterns in the two page spread. What did I do here? This was the scrap that was left from this eight by eight. So when I uh, trimmed this out to fit here, I had this piece left and it is just a little over three inches, about three and one eighth inches. And it's just what was left over. And then I trimmed this down from the eight by eight to fit on this side. And I have inked this, but not this, but let's go ahead and get this laid down because I may need to trim this further. <clears throat> <clears throat> Bring that down a little bit so I can see better. <clears throat> there we go. And now this is going to go right here. And it looks like I need to trim a little bit more off, about an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to, it's going to be color blocked, obviously. Mark it. Trim it, ink it, and we'll lay this down. And we're going to add a couple flaps. Okay. That should do. Let's see how we did. Yes, perfect. Okay. Now we're going to add some ink to it. So again, both patterns that um, are on page three are from the 8x8 collection. It doesn't have to be, but that's the way I'm doing it. Okay, a little bit of extra glue there. All right, so now we're going to install two flaps. Not that, this, I think. Yeah, okay, so I'll tell you the size of this flap. This flap is eight by five, eight by five. You're gonna score at one inch. Eight by five, score at one inch, and we're going to layer these two, like so. And this one is six, six by five. You're gonna score one inch on the six inch side. Okay, and this is eight by five. You're gonna score one inch. Okay. So you're gonna wind up with a five by seven and a five by five. Okay, <clears throat> let's do it. Let's, there we go. I knew I had one started already. This is three eighths, and I think I can add a five eighths to cover the to cover the um, the whole thing. Maybe two. Mm, it's not. It's a little too wide, so I'm going to put two strips of three eighths. I think five eighths and one quarter would have done perfect. Oops. So, um, by the way, this is a pocket page. So, in my tutorials, I show installation of the pocket page. 
but there's a note that says, you know, hold off on installing these until they're decorated, but I wanted people to see how to do the installation. Um, so hopefully you have, uh, you're keeping your pages out of your book until you got them decorated. It's easier. It won't make a difference in the outcome as far as the layout, but um, you'll have a flatter surface to work on while you're adding your designer elements. Okay, now we're gonna install this and I don't really know where I want it. I'm just gonna visually see what's appealing. They're gonna be offset, so the measurements are not gonna be significant, but I do wanna be able to tell you what I did after I lay it down. That. That. So it looks like I'm going to come down about a half an inch. So I'm going to make sure that that's straight. And I'm using my Tim Holtz ruler to look across. And it needs to come up a little. Mm -hmm. That looks straight. There we go. All right, so that's installed. And this goes here, like so. So that's going to be pretty. And then I took one of my large ephemeras and I cut the inside out and preserved the frame. And that's going to go on top of this. But we're going to have some magnet placement. So I'm going to hold off on that for, for now. Let's go ahead and install the second flap. So what I did here is I came in three quarters. I think it's three quarters of an inch. Yeah. From the black, from the pocket page itself, I came in three quarters of an inch and down a half inch. So I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to come in three quarters of an inch and up a half inch on the from the bottom. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, that looks about right. Oops, I don't have tape on here, so I'm going to use my pencil and mark my corner so I don't have to remeasure it. Okay, and then uh, let's get some tape on it. This time I'm going to do five eighths and one quarter. Yep, that worked perfect. No, not perfect, but better. Okay. Now when I install this, I'm gonna put my corner down here where I marked it. And I'm just going to put the corner down to use it as a pivot point until I'm satisfied that it's going in straight. It's off just a tiny, tiny bit. Let's see if I can't lift it. You know what? I think I'm going to do more damage trying to lift it. It's it's off just ever so slightly. But if you can see the stars that go along here, or actually it's a snowflake, it's pretty close. But I can see that I'm off. <laughs> Not even a 30 seconds of an inch, just tiny. I can live with it, and it'll, uh, it'll be less obvious as we get our papers laid in. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to place a magnet here, I think. Yeah. 
right about here. And then we'll uh, place the other one on the other side. And I am going to use my 5 8 inch tape. That's why it wasn't straight. I looked at it and I'm like, how, how did I tear it so crooked? It's because I, I was using it to cover, I think, a magnet. So I didn't use my tape tear tool. Ooh. Okay. All set. Okay, let's go ahead and lay this in. And then we're going to lay this in right here. So we have this nice little stagger. Uh, did I ink it? I did. I think I'm ready. Okay, so the last thing is this frame. And I want to show you what it looks like next to page two before we move on. And um, it'll help you understand why I'm pulling this frame in. I think this looks nice, um, as is. But I do think that adding this frame, you know, just pulls in this green. Uh, it, it's sort of pulling it across. So without and with, and I think that that really unifies the two pages. So I, I am going to cardstock back this in black. And then I'm going to leave um, the top edge open. So I'm going to glue this to the black cardstock so there'll be a nice black frame around it and then you would slide your photo behind it. So I'm going to trim that out and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay I've trimmed this out and I um, glued down the frame and I'm leaving the top open so I just glued these three sides so that you can uh, slide your photo right inside the frame. So I'm just going to center it on the burgundy paper. <clears throat> Verify that the opening is on the top. There we go. Does that look nice? I like it. You can, you can change the order if you want. If you'd rather have the full frame exposed, you can do that as well. I like it the other way, but it's really a pre personal preference. Depending on what photo you put in here, you may not want it partially covered. So you've got options. Okay, I'm going to set aside uh, page two, and then we are going to work on covering uh, the B side of both of these flaps. So, All right, everybody, I've got everything trimmed out, inked. We're just ready to lay it down. So I pulled this pattern in solid back in and we're going to use this side and then I'm going to use the flip side uh, to cover up the hinge here. Okay. If you want, you could have continued the pattern over. Um, I think the reason I did this, if I recall correctly, is that um, the, the scrap that I had left from the um, pattern in solid um, wasn't wide enough to cover this, so um, I couldn't continue the pattern. Like on this side, for example, I just trimmed and then split, but on this side, the scrap that I had left over wasn't wide enough to pick it up. So based on that, I decided to just do the alternate side for the hinge. Thank <laughs> you. 
Go. Little excess glue. Normally, I only do a half inch hinge if it's underneath. Um, paper but on top I think it's easier to pull to pull the pattern in and cover it if it's a, an inch because you're not uh, trying to make a 3 8 inch strip which is very narrow so that's why I widened it here because it's exposed and then you can actually have this as a design feature um, with the contrast strip Okay, there we are. So that is, actually, I planned it this way. That is page three. And so we've got a right flap and left flap. And then we've got this not so easy to get into frame. <laughs> you can, I was just having a hard time getting the page paper under it. So, so you can put your, you can either glue uh, your picture directly on top. Um, or even be a little bit smaller and have more of a black frame around the photo, or just slide it in. It's uh, a little bit smaller than four by six, uh, the insert area. Okay, page three, all done. Back soon with page four. <laughs>